This presentation was brought to you by the Office of Community Engagement and Diversity Initiatives at Nevada State College. Today, we will be exploring service learning, what this means, and what this looks like in application. Thank you for watching. Maybe you've heard of service learning before, but you're not quite sure what it is. Well, today we'll take a deeper look at service learning and the differences between service learning and other learning experiences, as well as go over some examples. Now keep in mind, service learning takes place over time. It's not something that just happens in one occurrence, such as volunteering at the soup kitchen. It's something you engage in over several weeks or even months, maybe. It's often part of a larger project or experiential learning. Whoa, pause. Experiential learning? What's that? Well, you know when scientists say they're in the field? With experiential learning, the entire experience is in the field. The field, meaning the environment the learning takes place in. Experiential learning involves taking action solving a community problem in your area, or a problem a specific community is facing, which could be a different community from your own. But remember, it's not just singular actions like tutoring a young kid with autism or organizing a clothing drive for homeless youth. While these are both helpful to your community, experiential learning is an active process where you reflect on the actions you're taking over time and learn from those around you, both younger and older. We're more likely to gain a deeper understanding of something if it involves hands-on activities and connecting with those who can teach us from their perspective while we admit the experience itself. But wait. If experiential learning is different from service learning, then how is volunteering or community service any different? Well, one thing that will help you remember is that service learning always has an academic context tied to it. It's designed that way so that service and learning goals are mutually reinforcing each other. It's a collection of activities, assessments, both formative and summative, to track learning progress throughout the experience and at the very end to serve as a whole reflection. There are several different types of service learning opportunities. The one we're probably most familiar with is direct service learning. This is where students get a chance to clearly see the impact they're making based on the service that they provided to someone. On the other hand, there's indirect service learning. This focuses on working on larger, broader issues such as environmental projects or community development projects that will have a positive impact on the community as a whole rather than one individual the students are working with. Now, research-based service learning usually involves collecting information over time, including observations and analyzing information already discovered. These types of experiences involve researching areas of need. Students usually formulate ideas and then turn those ideas into plans, which eventually turn into other types of service learning. Think of education first, then the action. Advocacy service learning is a form of action. It usually involves organizing people, educating masses of people on topics the public is interested in, and usually these topics affect the community over the entire population. This may include social issues such as environmental safety, equality, the wage gap, and so on. Now that we've answered some questions about service learning, let's review some things. Remember, service learning takes place over time and it's always paired with an educational aspect. The experience connects to course material, activities, and assessments. Lastly, service learning involves the experience, but also reflecting on that experience and using that new knowledge. The purpose of service learning is to gain a larger understanding about the bigger picture surrounding the experience and apply your own knowledge to actively solve problems within your own environment, to continuously learn and apply new skill sets to other areas. Service learning not only benefits the student, but also their communities, as well as faculty and academic institutions. We hope this video helped you understand service learning a little bit better. Thanks for watching.